Hey, Fun Sites, Chris McCoy here. So I'm guessing that uh, a fair number of you are already aware of the fact that you can take your Phone Sites funnel and save it to your mobile device. Um, that way you can have it readily available in case you want to share it uh, with someone. Maybe you're on the phone really quickly and you need to just grab it and then drop it in an email or text or, or whatever. Um, you want to have it there. Maybe you're at a networking event, a conference or something like that, and you want to pull it up and have it so that someone can fill out uh, their contact information immediately. Um, or it's your, maybe you're a real estate agent and you have um, a sign-in sheet built through a, a phone sites funnel for open houses, right? Um, there's a wide array of ways that you could be using this. And having it saved on your mobile device is going to be really handy for you, right? So if you do that, you might want to have your own logo associated with that. Okay, so if you're not familiar with what a favicon is, it's this little... Uh, image or logo that you see up here in your browser. So you've got like the, the Facebook uh, Favicon, you've got the Gmail Favicon, phone sites, uh, YouTube, and so forth. We're going to be creating uh, a Favicon that you can use for your phone sites funnel. Chances are uh, you might not already have that. If you do, you can go through this process over here of checking it out just to see if there's any way that you can improve it. Um, that's really not the purpose of this video. We're going to be creating a Favicon here. So let's go ahead and do that. Select your Favicon picture. Now you want to navigate to where you have your logo saved. Um, I'm going to, let's see, have it out on desktop. Select that. That's my logo. Select open. So that's uploaded. And now on this page, um, you're going to see how it's going to look on various devices, right? So this is how it's going to look on iPhone, Android, Windows 8 and 10 in terms of like your, your desktop, Safari. Um, now, for each one of these, you can go in and you can edit these a little bit, right? You can use it as it is, or you can go in and change the margin, and you can see how this uh, is growing. It's either expanding or getting smaller. Uh, and then you can change what the margin is going to look like. So I said that's red. It's kind of hard to see, but there we go. So now you can see that I've added a margin, right? I'm going to go ahead and change this back to the default. I'm going to leave it at the, the, the default for each one of these. And now I'm going to leave this as the default as well. I'm going to go ahead and generate my favicons. So that's generating. I'm going to ignore steps two through five. We only need the end result here, which is the favicon package. I'm going to go ahead and download that. It's going to download as a zip file, which you can see over here. I'm going to click here on that little arrow so I can select show and folder. And I've got my favicon package zip file saved out here in my downloads folder. Now I'm going to extract that. So I'm going to go ahead and right click and go to extract all. And I'll just go ahead and extract it within my downloads folder. That's fine. Extract. And that's going to open up um, these different favicons that we've created, right? Okay, cool. So now I need to upload this into phone sites. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to navigate back to phone sites and I just have this uh, template page open up here that I'm not actually going to use. Uh, I just wanted to upload the image here. So let's go and do that. So I'm going to go into my image block. You can see right here. And if you don't have an image block on your phone sites page, for whatever reason, you can always go to add block and then select image. Okay. Let's select into the no image field right here. So we can upload this. And uh, upload image. And now I need to navigate to where I have this. So this is in downloads and it's in Fabricon package. And I'm going to select this one here, Apple Touch icon. Um, the reason why I'm selecting it is because it's just the right size that we need for the code that we're going to use in phone sites. So use the Apple Touch icon, select open. And that's uploading. And let's see, let's scroll down to the bottom. Okay, now I'm going to select my uh, favicon image here. And now the next step is uh, I need to grab the URL for where this is saved out on the phone site server. Do not use this URL up here. That is not the correct URL. This is just a, an edit page for where we're editing this, right? I want to right click and then select save image as. Oh, sorry, not save image as. Uh, 
copy image address. If I were to save that, that would just save it back on my uh, PC. I want copy image address, and then I can close this tab. I don't actually need this phone size tab anymore. I'm going to go back over here to this phone size tab. So what is this phone size tab? This is for the funnel that I'm going to be sharing on my mobile device. This happens to be the funnel that uh, many of you guys have probably seen in the group whenever we have shared, uh, whenever Drew or myself have shared um, tips or tricks for you guys to help out with your own funnels, right? So this one has a bunch of pages on it. Uh, I just think that this would be a good example to use for this demo just because uh, it comes in handy for folks, right? So like if I wanted to have this on a mobile device and I wanted to pull it up really quickly and show someone while I'm out in public in terms of like how to do something with phone sites, I could easily just click on an icon on my phone and they're going to be brought to my mobile funnels training phone sites funnel and check out what's going on there, right? Okay, enough of that. Um, I'm going to, I'm in, I'm in the config tab. I'm going to go to the custom code section and let's just add in that URL here really quickly. And we'll just keep that there for just a second, just for safekeeping. Now, I need a snippet of code that I'm going to add in here. So let's go ahead and go grab that snippet of code real quick. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and select this snippet of code right here. And I don't need this anymore. I'm gonna go ahead and close that. I'm gonna go back to phone sites and back into this custom code section and I'm gonna drop in that code. Now, I've got that in there, but I copied and pasted this URL in here previously, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and cut that. And this is gonna be a little tricky for you to see, so I wanna expand the, the I wanna zoom in a little bit here. I want you to see that right here on this line right here, so this is line one, two, three, four, five, six, right here where you've got this URL. We're gonna replace that, but I wanted to zoom in so that you can see that there's a single quote before and after the URL. Make sure you do not get rid of that single quote. So I'm going to select Control V, because I had just controlled uh, X to be able to copy that URL that was sitting right here, right? So I got rid of that, I, I cut it, I, I selected Control X, and then I replaced uh, that other URL right here in between the single quotes with Control V. Okay, let's zoom back down to 100%, and I can get rid of some of this white space that's at the very end here, because I don't need all that. Okay, and you can ignore all this other code that's going on up here. So now, now that we have that snippet code in here, whenever uh, I go to save this, if I were to hop onto my uh, Pixel phone right now, um, I would be able to save my mobile funnels funnel oops, <laughs> on mobile. There we go. So I'd be able to save this out on my mobile device and then um, my logo would show up as the, uh, the favicon on my home screen. So I'm going to hop off of my PC real quick, create another video on my uh, Pixel 3 phone and show you exactly how on your phone you can go ahead and save that funnel with your favicon. Okay guys, so now I'm on my Android device and I'm going to save this uh, this funnel here on the home screen and I expect to find a logo that looks just like what you see up there at the top of the page, except with a white background. All right, so let's go ahead and do this. So I'm gonna go up in my browser here, select the, the three dots for the menu, and then um, add to home screen. And I'm just gonna change this, what I wanna call this. Phone sites training by mobile. Oh. All right, add. And as you can see here, 
uh, you can see what that's going to look like. Now it's a little small, but I could go back into um, into the uh, the favicon generator and adjust the uh, the sizing of this a little bit. But let's go ahead and select add automatically. Now, if I wanted to, I could touch and hold to place manually. Let's go ahead and do that actually. So touch, hold it. And then as you can see, I can now drag it around to wherever I want this. I don't have a lot of real estate on that space there. So I'm just going to drag it over here. And now I've got my page saved. So there we go. Pretty cool, right? And so now it looks like an app. <laughs> and then if I were to click through one of these, it's going to bring me in my browser here. And then I could check out any one of these tips. Alright guys, thanks for watching.